Hey, I'm some guy from the internet, and I'm about to be playing Ultimate Skyrim. Hopefully, assuming I finally got it installed correctly. Took me about 10 hours to get this whole fucking thing set up. It is a process. So what Ultimate Skyrim does, it revamps basically everything. I mean, even this text here on the loading screen, I think, is different. Background music's the same, though. And that's a baller-ass song. Uh, the load order is probably the biggest pain in the ass. I have about 250 mods installed right now, which are what collectively they are calling Ultimate Skyrim. Uh, yeah, everything's supposed to be revamped. This should be a whole new game to me. I haven't played Skyrim in years, and I wanted a new experience. And someone on the forums was like, hey, try this out. And they directed me to reddit slash r slash ultimate skyrim, which directed me to, I think it's ultimate skyrim dot bitballoon dot com. I'll have all that shit in the description, assuming I'm not a complete moron who forgets. I'll also put my load order in there, because that is the biggest problem I had getting this set up. So, after you down, they tell you on the website, download and install it in this order. You can go ahead and ignore that. Download everything you want, uh, make sure you get all the essentials, but the order, it doesn't fucking matter, because first off, the website has some things in completely wrong order, like counterintuitive order. Then, Mod Organizer, when it installs plugins, it just slaps them wherever the fuck it feels like, puts them, it doesn't order them the way Nexus does, and you have to install this with Mod Organizer, uh, which is another part of the pain in the ass, also part of the problem I had, I tried to use Nexus at first, I'm like, oh, I know what I'm doing. No, you have to use Mod Organizer, and you have to use the hour-long fucking tutorial video on the website. Some part, some parts of it you can skip, but yeah, for the most part you gotta follow it. And it's very long-winded. The dude somehow dumbs things down and is long-winded at the same time. But it's the guy that'll get you the install this shit. Again, the link to the website and everything will be in the description. And my mod order will be in there. There's about 300 mods total. Halfway through the list, I'm like, fuck all these texture mods. I'm already wasting too much time on this. Not realizing I've... Oh, this is still in the first hour of this process. Not realizing I was going to spend another nine hours or so getting this fixed. So yeah, uh, don't be like me and try to use Nexus, because you think that's what you're comfortable with. Use Mod Organizer. Don't think, I know how to install shit. And not follow the tutorial. Follow the tutorial. Oh, one big thing on the tutorial that they won't tell you, because it's like a year old. You cannot use the newest version of TES5 script. You need to use version 3.1. Otherwise, when you get to the part where you're installing real shelter, uh, it'll fuck up. It'll be like, nope, fuck you, you need an older version. And then you have to go download it. So I'm telling you up front, go download the old version instead. And when you're going through the download list, pay attention to the versions, because I've had a, I had a few mods that I had, like, the latest version, and it's like, no, you can't have the latest version, the latest version will fuck you, you need an old version. So pay attention to that, and uh, this process might take you three hours instead of ten, like it took for me. Uh, I think that's more than enough introduction. Especially because I don't even really know what I'm introducing, because I did not watch any gameplay videos. I just read vague descriptions. I tried not to read too many details on all these mods I installed. I want it to be a surprise to me. I want it to be a new experience. I haven't played Skyrim in years. And I want a new Skyrim. Which, even the text, the font here on the main screen looks different. So, yeah. It's a, it's a good start. So, hopefully, when I hit new, the game doesn't fucking crash. We'll find out in the next video, because the uh, intro is going to be on its own. This will be episode zero. And I have all kinds of shit in the description to, yeah, how to get it set up the way I did. Yay.